they got beam sabers. Damn it. I mean, <laughs> she really got hit. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do episode 20 of Mobile Suit Gundam Double O. In the last episode, we literally had our Gundams versus the Trinity siblings in an all out battle. One of my favorite moments of that episode was just watching Tierra just go ham with the trial system and was able to actually kind of like, I'm not sure if he can control other Gundams, but he can at least turn their systems off. It's like, yo, if you're connected to this network, I have the ability to just shut you down. And he did that, which makes them good, which, which is an awesome move for Gundams because if there's ever a Gundam on Gundam battle, he can just like literally shut them off and they're just laying duck. Slice them up, shoot them, rip them apart. And he was going directly for that. He's like, you guys don't even deserve to be in those suits. And I'm gonna strip that power away. Unfortunately, Alejandro has something to do with it. I think he did, because he smiled like an evil man. Or maybe not even evil, I don't know. He's an observer, but I'm not sure if observers are good or bad, or if they just kind of have like an opinion they just want to tilt things to. Long story short, the Trinity Simulans were able to get their gunners back operational, and then Joan was like, yo, I have to tell you guys something before we leave. Um, I'm just gonna mind F you guys right now. You know, lock on the KPSA, the group that, you know, kind of just killed your mom and your sister. Yeah, well, Asuna was actually part of that group. So, you know, the group that you sworn to get revenge on? Yeah, he's actually a Gundam Meister. And he's right next to you. And he just flew off. The rest of the episode would just lock on trying to figure out if he should kill Setsuna if he doesn't provide a good enough explanation as to why he joined the Gundam Meisters. And he wasn't going to take anything easy as an excuse. Like, you can't be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I was warped and brain mind fucked. He's like, since, uh, lock on was like, I already know that. I was going to kill you regardless if that was your answer. You got to come up with something better than that because he knows people were mind effed because that's what really happened. And he said, even though that happened, I still have to get my revenge. And, you know, Setsuna answered, I think, with the only possible good answer. He's like, yo, I did it. But I did it because I want to eradicate war. I do, want, I do not want anyone to go through the same thing I did. And if that means you killing me, if that helps you to get to the level where you can help eradicate war, then my death meant something. So hey, if that's what's gotta happen, that's gotta happen. But as long as the eradication of war happens, that's all that matters to me. And Lockhart was like, uh, all right, man, you're crazy, dude. You're a Gundam Meister fanatic for sure. And the best part of that episode was all three of them laughing. The not so good part about that episode was the little special reveal at the end of it. Looks like there were some special like cones, like the cones that you see in the back of our Gundam. And if you want to get conspiracy theories, actually after reading the comments, I think I know what's going to happen next and it's going to suck. But they might make like an army of Gundams that might come and attack our crew, which would suck. <laughs> but if that happens, then I don't know what to think. Like, that's pretty cool. Man, an army of Gundams. But anyway, let's just jump into the next episode. I can't wait to watch what happens next. The last episode was action-packed. This inlet and left on the cliffhanger, and I just want to see what that cliffhanger leads up to. Thank you guys for watching, and let's just jump into it. I wish I could read what that says. I can't read it. Oh, it's him. Wow. They have the technology to regrow hands, but that beam put something crazy on her hands. Maybe cancer. Please. Here we go, episode 20. To counter the repeated acts of a moral oh, shit. carried out by celestial being, the Union, the Human Reform League, and the AEU will form a military alliance. No! The Oh, Three blocks have announced a military alliance to be controlled by the UN. Celestial beings' true goal was to unite the world as one. I mean, shit! Fighting with fighting, and you win peace. All the happy music. Judging by the reaction, we finally cleared the first stage of the plan. The fact that Team Trinity isn't mentioned anywhere in Veda's information, never mind the disturbing realization that Veda's data has actually been altered, it just makes me uneasy. Like someone has Gundams that you guys don't know about. Message from Samuragi. All Meisters are to return to Ptolemaios with their machines. So the question is, what do we do now? We'll see what the UN does first. Ian, would you mind taking Lasse and picking up the GN arms? Roger that. I mean, the GN arms have been rolled out. Well, just one of them for now. Finally, a chance to deploy the GN arms. Damn, what is that? I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> About that analysis we ran on the new model Gundam's beam saber. We have more important matters right now. Apparently, there's a traitor in the Celestial Being Organization. They brought gifts, specifically the same kind of engines the Gundams use. Wow! 
mobile suits to put them into. What, for real? And we're talking 30 machines. That's the reason why those guys could make that announcement. Wow! The pilots for the machines they're giving us will probably be chosen from among the Overflag's members. And of course, you'd be in charge. I'll have to refuse that. Huh? Yeah. I will defeat the Gundams with a flag. Grave and made a vow. Yeah. A man cannot go back on his vow. Woo! He's gonna fight a gun with a flag no matter what. So yeah, the information was leaked. Tierra was right. They have a special thing and that's it. Ooh, they got it. So this is the Gundam's main engine. Uh, the engine is officially called a GN drive. The Human Reform League was given 10 of these GN drives. Colonel, you'll be in charge of selecting the pilots. Colonel, permit me to pilot one of the new models. Of course. Lieutenant. Of course you'll be permitted. Yep. I will do my best, sir. For 30? Candidates will assemble the top guns from the AEU member nations. Who are you? Good evening, Colonel. Wow. Who wants some action? Colonel, I wanted to ask you out for dinner. The world is about to undergo a reformation that will change everything. Doesn't the thought of something like that give you any pause? No. Not at all. Come in. You're just like a big kid. What do you mean? Wait here. I'll get ready. I knew it was gonna work. He got that suave. Oh boy! Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I would have did the same thing. Must be hard being so popular. Don't mock me, Mr. Laguna Harvey. If I'm paid, oh, that's for him. Job, I make sure it gets done. Why are you here? I'd like to get my hands on one of those new model machines that we're now distributing. I've heard a lot about your great instincts, but why do you want to pilot one of those things so bad? I want to kill the Gundam. There's someone I owe a little payback to. Mr. Harvey looks like a regular guy. Damn it. Well, because of those celestial whatchamacallits. <sighs> I can't get an interview. <sighs> Funny, they told me the president was in a meeting. Hmm. Oh, she's crazy. She's smart. Get a good look at this guy. Uh, hello? How may I help you, miss? I'm a special correspondent from JNN, and I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Oh, I don't mind. Uh, but see, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Could you ask them in the car? Oh. Wow! What a persuasive guy! I'll take you up on that. See, he's good. I can see why people follow this guy. How refreshing. Nice to see a beautiful reporter for a change. Thank you. So, this dude get all the ladies. Ask me anyway. Were you just in a meeting with Laguna Harvey? Yes, I did meet with him. What did the two of you discuss? <laughs> he knows. Oh, he did it! What a beast! Are they like components for linear trains or something? No. No, they're engines for powering mobile suits. Gundams, in fact. <gasps> yes. The ones possessed by Celestial Being. One of their pilots is an ex-child soldier from Crucius. I mean, those Gundams. A child soldier? How does he... What? Someone abducted him, brainwashed him, trained him to fight, and essentially molded him into a guerrilla soldier. Him. I'm the one who did all that. Him! I'm a warmonger. Wow, this guy is so sick. He doesn't even care. And I bet you he doesn't because he can get away with it. Is it like a psychopath or something? He has to be. He's insane. Dude, you need to call your sister. It's me. I took care of that pesky rat. That wasn't necessary. I think it'll be good propaganda. Help us get more public support and all that. You know, you're a hard man to figure out. Who is that guy? This must be his boss boss. I mean, what the hell? I mean, why? What the hell? Oh my god. Bleeding out. Took her to the corner and stabbed her. Master Alejandro, I really don't see the need for you to accompany me in person now. This is information you went out of your way to obtain. I'd like to see it with my own eyes. Besides, this has been an ardent wish of the Corner family for a very long time. I take it you've been planning to interfere with this project for many generations. Mm. Indeed we have. But as long as Veda was up and running, there was nothing we could really do about it. He and might be the one guy. Day, purely by chance, an angel descended before me. I'm talking about you. Ribbons all mark. I will repay you for taking me in and treating me so well. Don't apologize. You truly are my angel. Wow, he, he's the one who did all the hacking. That's what it sounds like. After making us work like non-stop, how could they suddenly cut off contact with us? We've just received a mission plan from Laguna. The mission will commence in three days. It's about time! Finally, I found 
around you. Whoa. Whoa! How'd you get past our security? That doesn't matter. We can't let her get out of here alive. Stand down, Michael. I recall reading about her in the material from Veda. Wow. My name is Wong Lume. I'm an undercover agent for Celestial Being. And this is my partner in crime. Undercover oh, agent. Oh, he's totally yummy. What? Him? Well then, how can the three of us be of service to you? I simply dropped in to say hello. Mm -hmm. Team Trinity are members of Celestial Being, and so are we. Wow. As an agent, I feel I should do my best to aid and assist you. Are you kidding me? In case you forgot, your Gundam's launched an attack on <laughs> Yes, I have already heard about the incident, but you should know. We're not necessarily on the side of those who attacked you. Are you saying that you're neutral? Oh, no. I am simply a follower of the original ideas that Eolia Schenberg advocated. And that's all. Nothing more. Whoever has that idea, she will follow. I see. So that's what this is about. Huh? I understand. Should it become necessary, I will be counting on your full support. As you nice. Wish. And what about our location? I promise I will not tell them about this place. Goodbye. Wow. She's kind of neutral. She only believes in that idea. Anything else doesn't matter to her. Should we just let them leave? Oh, I think we'll be fine. Besides, the more cards we have to play, the better off we are. What's our situation? Nothing's really changed as of yet. I am guilty of disobeying orders. Really? When did you do that? But I... <laughs> Look, just accept it. <laughs> he transformed. He wasn't supposed to. Did something happen? Not at all. Mr. Moragi, Team Trinity appears to be on the move. Now what? All right, what's their attack target felt? There's an HRL base on their route. It's the Guangzhou Military District. I'm still pissed about what happened the other day. I'm really gonna cut loose. Uh, he's going ham. Let's go, Michael. He might. There's one more coming. Hit him hard. Oh shit. Concentrate your fire. Bro. Shooting from behind isn't fair. Don't mess with us, you little pests. Mm. Let's wrap this mission up. Prepare for docking. Roger. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, what a red bean. No. What's going on here? No, no, no. Jumbo Jake's team, commence offensive maneuvers. Attack! Her performance, this machine is amazing. Oh, they got beam sabers. Damn it. What do you think you're doing? The days of fearing Gundams have come to an end. Shimmy. They're just faster. They don't got special moves, but they're. Damn it, this sucks, man. I hope our team is getting all this data. No arguing from you. That's enough for today. Look down at the base. It's safe. Oh wow. Yep. They took so much damage in the fight. I guess this is your first taste, isn't it? Yep. Victory, baby. This is. The sweet taste of victory. Woo! The sweet taste. They got ten of them. Did they actually retreat? I hope no, they saw not. that. The Human Reform League deployed a team of mobile suits equipped with solar reactors. Solar reactors. Yes. The information must have been taken from Veda. From now on, it's going to be like Gundam fighting Gundam. Damn it. Don't. Master Alejandro, this way, please. What is this? He can do it too. Is this where Veda is? So this is Veda. This is Eolia Schenberg. And the system that is the heart of Celestial B. Well, that was the end of episode 20 of Mobile Suit Gundam 00. We just figured out that Alejandro, I kind of think it is true. They're kind of hinting at it. But Alejandro was the spy, or at least the guy who kind of got in trouble from his little green-haired minion to intercept Veda, get some of that information. Now, it looks like Alejandro adopted that green guy. I forgot his name. Totally forgot it. But he adopted that green guy, took him in. Now that green guy has the eye power that Tierra has, so he can actually access some of Veda's stuff. And with that, he's able to locate where Veda's main base is at. At, which is on the moon and like access that supercomputer and do things to it. That was the like the big whoa 
moment at the end. But before that, we got even crazier moments. So, pretty much all three of the military powers have access to 10 separate GN drives that they can use for their own suits. And with those 30 GN drives, they're, or they're gonna eradicate Gundams by becoming Gundams themselves. Now, we've seen a little bit of that action with the Trinity siblings trying to fight off one of the Gundams in their own little intervention. In the middle of the intervention, and Gundams came and shot them with red beans. Now, I did know that Graham took one of the bean sabers and he was able to like analyze it, but they got way more information than that. Like someone leaked pretty much the DN drives and not even leaked it, had them ready. I wonder because Alejandro and Wong, I think they're all kind of like, well, we just want the reformation of the world and we know how this is gonna happen. We're gonna have our own little pawns, but at the same time, we're gonna put pawns inside of the other places and have them fight each other. And now that would make sense to leave some of the Gundams out of the loop so they can literally genuinely fight each other. Even though that's not generally what's happening. I think it's all puppeteered actually by either Alejandro or just some of the sole people who really want the vision of Veda to come to fruition. I think this is bigger than whose side are you on. I think they're just one vision, one idea, and the world is gonna come at it. No matter what happens, the original visionaries are gonna try to fight for that vision. It doesn't matter if they're with the Trinity siblings or if they're with our celestial being Gundams. Even though they're all under Gundams. But yeah, I mean, I think Celestial Being is just a toy that's gonna be played with it to achieve this one dream. And I kind of don't really know what it is. It's about reformation of the world. But what does that even look like? And even if the world is destroyed, I mean, that's kind of suck. You know, I kind of have a really weak reformation and there's nothing left besides, you know, nuclears going off and stuff. So now, like 30 GN drives going around and I think things are just gonna heat up. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen next, but it doesn't look pretty for our Gundams. I'm just glad they're not fighting now, but they can just sit back. Now, I know our Gundams are gonna have this special GN weapon that a few are gonna get, but I'm not exactly sure if that's gonna matter. But yeah, everything is heating up. I can't wait to see what happens next. Looks like there's gonna be a lot more fighting and a lot more action and a lot more death. But yeah, until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.